there, Loot Anime fans. How's it going? Welcome to another episode here on Past Teachers Again. We've got the box for April Loot Anime right here in front of us. The theme being music. Now, if I don't have a Hatsune Miku item inside this, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to eat the box. I'll eat the whole box. And maybe a few leaks. Maybe, if there actually isn't a Hatsune Miku item in here. Because it's themed music. Who doesn't know that? It's going to have to be in there. Okay, let's get this open. Oh, no. Right. There we go. T-shirt. We're going to grab it first and pull it back out to the wide. Hi there guys, how's it going? It's nice to see you. Are you well? It's good to see you again. It's good to see me. It's good to be back. <laughs> it's always good to be back. It's good to see everyone come back for more videos here on Passage of Skin. This is our t-shirt for Ludami this month. What is it? Uh, Hypers... Okay, so, Hypersonic Music Club! I like the design. It's not too bad, I actually I like the look. It's not too... not too obtuse. It's pretty detailed. I mean, I don't know this show. It's about androids and music. I mean, I know so little about it that I'm just going to do this. I'll put the trailer up here. <laughs> it makes it so much easier for you guys to actually check out the show. I mean, I like music shows a lot. I mean, there's ones that I really love, like Your Lie in April and Tomorrow's Cantable and um, Cantable. Cantable? 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 Yeah, something like that. And uh, Beck Mongolian, Mongolian Trap Squad, huge fan of it. Um, there's a lot of mangas that I read that are actually music based as well, like Fuka, The Wind. The, um, this one is one I've never heard of. I think it would start off as like a webcomic or something to it. I don't know. But it looks interesting design. It kind of reminds me a lot of uh, Jet Set Radio with the character design -y kind of stuff. Well, probably not in, like, in the design, but with the, the styling of the androids in this. And the fact that they're all robots. I, I like the look of it. That's going to be an interesting shirt. I like the design. It's a decent enough weight of material. It's got a good print. It's nice and thick and it'll last a decent while. And the branding? Who actually makes this? Oh, Ripple Junction and Crunchyroll. So this is actually a Crunchyroll shirt. So this isn't even one from the show from anywhere else, it's actually Crunchyroll himself produced it. Crunchyroll are signed up with um, Loot Anime now, so whenever you have an account with them, you get a discount on Loot Anime, which is a nice deal. Um, I didn't know it until after I was actually just checking my shipping for the ones that I normally have. So um, yeah, it's kind of nice. It's got a 40% discount now that I'm a country, uh, because I'm a Crunchyroll uh, premium, premium user as well. Yeah, if, you do, if you're already on Loot Anime, go and make sure you sign up for that because it's a good discount on your next crates. Um, right, back to the crate. Let's see what's in here. Okay, what do we got? You're lying, April. I, I just said, this this is a great book. Oh, awesome! All right, so the first volume of it. I've read this. Like I haven't read the manga. I've only seen the animated show. So I'm looking forward to reading this. It's sad. It's a it's a sad story. I mean, it reminds me a bit of Kari Kano, in a way. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, Kari Kano and this mixed together. Yeah, and then there's of course uh, Nadine uh, that Cantible again with a musician, especially with a piano player. So yeah, essentially it's about a, a guy who's lost his love for music, being taught how to love music again by the other girl on this cover. And yeah, it's a, it's a really nice story. I, I like it. Cool. All right, well, that's for the book club. If you actually, I've said this a couple of times before and I haven't gotten around to actually doing for the book club. If you're up for um, joining me and doing a read through of your copy of Loot Anime's Your Lie in April, feel free to comment underneath the video uh, talking about the actual book and what you thought about it and what you think about the series in general and we'll probably, I'll just gather those comments together and we'll actually just kind of make it into a discussion because I've been trying to get people locally that'll read stuff like this, not a chance. I, I'm, I, maybe a nice place Ireland but there's not that many people who want to sit and read a book about piano players and violin players, you know? It's hard to find them. And they tend to actually have their book clubs where they're all sitting reading like chiclet novels that actually are about men called Christian Grey. <laughs> okay, so back into the box. Let's see what we got here. Okay. A lanyard. And it is Hatsune Miku themed. Okay. It's a lanyard! That's what it does! Look at it! Being all lanyardy. I suppose I could use this as the con. Eh. It's a lanyard. Back into the box. <laughs> Alright, we got here. Uh, okay, neat. There was gonna be, like I said, I thought this was gonna be the only Hatsune Miku item inside the box, but no, this is actually. Wait. Is that lighting up? Oh, it's really hard to tell in this light, but apparently. Yeah, this is wee. Really... Feels like it's a wee bit electronic inside it. That's cool. Did I notice it whenever I flicked it there? Right, well. <laughs> I got my little bit of. I got my leak. So I could spin it around and dance with it. Hey! I don't keep these kind of things. So, um, you know what? If you want it, I'm at the con. First person who says I'm a Hatsune Miku fan can have this off of my bag. It'll be hanging off the bottom of it. Doo -doo -doo. So feel free to actually come and give me a shout for that at the BFCC this weekend. 
Plushies, not my thing. Okay, moving on. What is this? Was ist? Okay, this is Hatsune Miku branded. I don't know what it is. Do I want to open this? Ooh, well, it's felty. Feels, feels nice. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, right! <laughs> it's like making my voice go up higher each time. Look at that! Huh. That's pretty cool. A little mini beach towel or a carry around towel of Hatsune Miku. Looking all Hatsune Miku ish. Uh, car surrounded by bright, shiny, and cool things. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would actually like dig this out of my bag while out on holiday or something. Um, definitely something you could take to a con and use the mop your brow lightly. I don't even know how. Is this actually very absorbent? Because it feels very fleecy. It feels like you're actually be wiping your face with a, a sleeve rather than actually with a towel. Doesn't feel all that uh, towel ish. But yeah, just funky is the brand. That's nice. Enough. I, it's like a bit. It's not something I would use. It's something I would actually probably hang up on my wall instead. You know what? That is another thing for the con. If you see me and you, if you're the second person to say I love Hatsune Miku, you get the towel. If you're the first person, you get the leak. There you go. Combination. Two giveaways for one. Like it. All right. Let's move on to the next thing in the box. Okay. So this is another one of the loot, kind of like dongly pins, cool things. All right. I like the theme in this one. Looks all right. Looks cute. It's a nice design. Music themed. It works for it. Um, what else is there to say? <laughs> okay, grab one of these. So what is this? This is a pair of headphones. Okay. All right. I don't know who the characters are on that. Let me see. Is that is this like some form of weed cruise? No, it isn't. They've got cat ears. They're cat boys. I don't know what they are, but they're cat boys. Yeah. All right. You know, so I'm trying to find, I can't read the logoing on this because it's so small, but um, it's a typical pair of real headphones. And you know, the ones where you actually kind of like pull them apart and then they kind of have a wee middle bit that they all like zip towards again. Um, that'll be useful. I mean, I, I have better headphones. I always wear better headphones because I do for sound engineering and stuff on this. So yeah, I always have better phones on me, but for a cheap pair of like branded headphones, um, I don't mind those. Got a wee extra pair of heads on them. Um, I like the color and design, black and red. I like those. I think I'll be keeping those for myself. Sorry, no more giveaways. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into the crate and get ourselves finished off because now we're down to, the, of course, the poster that comes with every loot anime with our adorable Luchan. <laughs> so what is Luchan doing today? Let's see. She listens to music, obviously, but um, all right, cool. <laughs> Luchan is sitting listening to music, playing music, DJ music. She's on her ridiculous desk. Oh, actually, her mixing desk and keyboard actually have like the wee symbol that's actually on the uh, loot um, dongle pin charm thing. And of course, on the back, has a listing of everything that we actually had inside our crate for this month. As you can see, right here. Let's see, what was it? It was, of course, the Show by Rock. Oh, that's the name of the show. Show by Rock is the name of them. Listen to the greatest bands in style with these awesome Shingen Crimson's earbuds. Oh, Shingen Crimson. So the name of the band is Shingen Crimson's. With Crimson's. With a Z. Uh-huh. These earbuds have never been released in the US before, obviously, because they're Sanrio. Uh, rock out knowing you're the coolest around, just like Shingen Crimson's. To expect to, expect, to expand or retract, pull cord from both sides. Your Lion April Volume 1 by Contention of Comics. Yeah, that's the one we pointed out. Exclusive music phone charm. Oh, okay. So phones are a great way to listen to music, blah, blah, blah. Download the Loot Create Word Gush game on iOS or Android. Okay, Word Gush. Is that, that's the game where you hold your phone up to your head and it actually says things and then the person has to guess them for you. Um... Then scan the music's char music charm's image to download the anime deck. Oh, so the actual uh, charm itself has a pack of uh, names and themes and all for it. That's cool. That is very cool. I now, now that the dongle has a reason and for a game like Word Gush, all right, I might actually give that a wee try sometime. Exclusive Hatsune Miku travel blanket from Just Funky. Perfect for sitting on during festivals or keeping warm in line and con for concert. This mini blanket features. Oh, it's not a, it's not a towel. I was wondering why it was very fleecy. It's a travel blanket. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's nice. Um, a Vocaloid Tokidoki lanyard. Hold on to your super fan badge or tickets in style. Tokidoki on Vocaloid style, that is. There's two connoisseurs of Kawaii blend harmoniously, harmoniously on this soft lanyard and clear holder featuring Vocaloid characters drawn on in Tokidoki fashion. Tokidoki. 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 Whatever it is. 
Exclusive lineup leak plush. Yep, I was exactly right whenever I felt the wee metal bit on the inside of it. Wave your leak with polka pride. This adorable plush lights up, which makes it perfect glow stick to use at your favorite idol's concert. Clip it to your bag, or shake it in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> An exclusive hypersonic music club t-shirt. Unlock the power of the mystery frequency with this shirt featuring art by Hiroyuki Takahashi. Showcasing our android heroes and their interdimensional foes. This tea is the best mix ever. <laughs> The grandiose language had to go with the grandiose voice. Um, yeah. The, this crit was good for its theme. I mean, it definitely stuck to the music theme. I'm kind of delighted with the choices. I I honestly expected a bunch of Vocaloid uh, little fi minifigs and stuff. Um, thankfully, that's not what we got. We got Vocaloid stuff in it. Um, I mean, what? how many? Three pieces of this are Vocaloid materials? I mean, lanyard, blanket, and the leak. And I suppose the leak is probably the not the weakest thing. It's like it's like the most thematically correct thing for the Vocaloids because it's the one that er thing that everybody knows about Hatsune Miku and her goddamn leaks. Even I know, and I barely know anything about Vocaloid. Um, and then a new show that's actually uh, out fairly recently, I imagine, because I, I haven't heard of it at all, and I kind of do like watching music shows. Although with its sci-fi kind of theming, it doesn't kind of fit into the wheelhouse of the stuff that I normally listen to for myself. So it's probably um, a little bit. Out of my purview, Hypersonic Music Club. Uh, although I do, I mean, it, it's kind of got almost like a persona kind of thing to it as well, so I'm surprised I didn't actually see it. Was it from the style? Is that by the same company? Maybe? I don't know. Is that who's doing the animation for it? But um, yeah, uh, I'll be probably looking it up online to find out more about the show, and I'll be watching it, of course, on Crunchyroll, which you can try out for free for 30 days, or you can actually get in touch with me, and I might be able to give you a weekend pass for nothing to get you in for premium for a couple of days so you can watch whatever shows that you really enjoy. So I get free passes all the time from my premium account. So I can share them out with my fans so you can enjoy it. And then, of course, you can remember to mention me whenever you go to sign up for real. And uh, I get a wee discount on my account. <laughs> Which would be nice. This box actually was a wee bit awkward to fold in. I think it was actually just a bit tight. But um, yeah, I like the theming on the box this month. Look at it. It's a boombox. 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 And the fact that they've gone to the bother. I didn't notice that on previous boxes, but look at this. Reusable postage box. They actually give you, I mean, I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just maybe a grill, but it looks like you could post this box again. And, um, of course, that would actually be where you'd fill in your address and stuff. Um, I think, I, I, I like the idea of them doing that in the future with their boxes, kind of giving at least an address label portion of it that you can fill in and then reuse the boxes because that's, I mean, look at these boxes. I'm gathering way, so many of them that I'm probably never going to put this one onto the shelves, but um, I could, I could happily end up posting on stuff to other people this way. So yeah, this has been the Loot Anime Box for Music for the month of April. Wow, um, enjoyable, good content, uh, thematically correct. Loot Anime has been pretty good. I haven't actually been disappointed in this content so far. I mean, it's because they actually have kept, they are so focused on the theming and they have they kind of uh, stuff that tie it all together like Luke Chan herself. So they actually have like a branded character that's a mascot for it. They actually kind of there's plenty of material to work from. Like I mean, not, they're not like they're lacking history. And if it's just anime, they can just like almost tie anything into it. So I think uh, this month's one is Unity, which is Luke Chan, Chan and Rival Chan are both together in it, and they're doing Dragon Ball Z. I'm almost sure, almost sure we're either going to get a Vegito, Gogeta, or a um. What do you call them? Go tanks figure or something in it. There's going to be at least some fusion object inside that because they're doing Unity. Um, the fusion. Ha! If you don't know what fusion is in Dragon Ball Z, it essentially is two characters combining together to share their powers. You know, it's Voltron for people. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a. They also probably they'll probably do something for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or Voltron or something else as well. But there's like a whole pile of stuff that's going to be coming in that crit in Unity, uh, which will be the month of May. Now, um, I'm going to make tracks because I have to go and get ready for the BFCC con this weekend. So, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. I love you. I uh, Hopefully, you love me. And we can all do this together again next week on another episode of Loot Anime, Loot Crit, or Loot whatever it is. So, until the next video, I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.